Hi, Ian Zepp again. So this video picks up where our previous video left off. Uh, we've downloaded our package with all of the uh, custom objects, the Apex classes, the Visual Force pages, the page layouts, and the custom tab that we've created. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that we do have an opportunity object definition in here, but it doesn't contain the full the full uh, object definition for the opportunity, it only contains the one button that we've created. So when we push this to our new environment, we won't be overriding other fields. We're only going to be adding this button to the opportunity. So I've logged out of my QA environment, and I've created, uh, which I'm not going to give a demo of, creating the developer edition for my new product sets developer organization and now I'm going to log into that environment. And so because Chatter is new, it's actually going to show me a pop-up. I don't need to see that. What we're going to do is we're going to look at and make sure that there are no classes, pages, or custom objects in this environment. So this is a brand new empty developer organization. So the next thing to do is to go ahead and push our code changes from our QA environment to our new developer org. And so I go to force.com, deploy to server. I have to enter in the username of the environment where I'm going. I'm going to copy and paste my password in, and I have to put my security token in. And this is a developer edition, so I leave that at developer edition. Now I don't need to create a destination archive because I know that there's nothing in the target environment. And then this shows me a list of all the things that are going to happen. So uh, it does say we're going to overwrite the opportunity, but as we already looked at our opportunity, it's actually adding things to the opportunity, so it's not going to delete anything. Um, and then we're adding all of these different components. So a class, a visual force page, a layout, two, one custom object, one custom tab, another page layout, another custom object. Now before we actually deploy, we need to validate. Now if this were going into a production environment instead of a developer environment, when I did a validation, it would fail at this point because we would not have enough code coverage for the new code <coughs> that was being pushed in. But in this case, because we're going into a developer org, um, it allows me to deploy without a problem. So I am waiting on the deployment, and it says the deployment was successful. So we're going to close out of this, return to our organization that we had logged into. And now, if I look at the objects, I have my product set and my product set item objects. I have my Apex class. I have my Visual Force page. And even though it's not displayed, um, I will have in here once I correct the permission. So let's do that. So when we deploy using force.com ID, it doesn't automatically add permissions to uh, display tabs. So I'm going to edit the system administrator profile and I'm going to change my new product sets tab from tab hidden to default on and then when I save it go back and customize my tabs I can now take my product sets tab and add it to my normal layout and so at this point we are fully deployed into our developer environment and we are ready to go ahead and repackage within our developer environment and start pushing, or at least attempting to push, to the App Exchange.